Um, then he died in mysterious circumstances. Well, he died in America under unusual circumstances, put it that way. Farlap's death is shrouded in mystery, but Australians all have their own theories. They didn't know if he'd been poisoned or he'd eaten some particular grass over there. He's not used to the conditions over in America. That many things can go wrong with horses. Could have been anything. Why not have handled it? Handled the trip, no-one really knows. I think he probably just got a horse illness. I, I doubt very much whether anyone actually poisoned him. But uh, we'll never know. When he died, it seemed all of Australia went into national mourning. Farlap's body was preserved and stands to this day in the Melbourne Museum, looking just like he did in his racing days. The exhibit has been popular for decades. He was more or less uh, a hero, an icon. Uh, Farlap will... There's been some champions since, of course, but there'll, there'll never be another Farlap. Farlap, to you. And did you know that the name Farlap originated from a Thai phrase meaning lightning? And that's all we have time for today. To find out more about any of the stories you've seen on Nexus, check out our website. Now, what's on tomorrow? We'll find out about Melbourne's famous streets. Meet an artist who was born in Kuala Lumpur but makes her home in Adelaide. And find out it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Looks like another great program, so I'll see you tomorrow for all that and more. Bye for now. Tonight. Do you think you know everything there is to know about Albert Einstein? Well, I have a question. Are you a potential Einstein in the making? All right, let's begin the Inquisition. Then join Peter Berner for the Einstein Factor tonight. InSearch provides recognised courses that lead to university degrees. I didn't have difficulty compared with some of my friends who had not had the opportunity to study at InSearch. Going to InSearch built my confidence and my skills base. These courses are a pathway to enter university. The lecturers were professional and had great knowledge of the industry. This February on Australia Network. Hello, buddy. Where do you think you're heading? We bring you the very best in world-class documentaries. Get out of the road! Lebanon succumbs to terrorism once more. Visualisation does help you when you're learning a new move. I'm really happy. I'm really, really happy. This place is amazing. It's just fantastic up here. It's mother nature at its best. Including the all-new season of Global Outlook, returning to Tuesdays. Plus an all-new season of Foreign Correspondent. I'm Trevor Borman in Dilly. I'm Emma Griffiths in St Petersburg. And programs that inform and entertain. The building's well alive, we need to protect the wrecking yard in sector This is our school. Well, this truly is one of Townsville's great delights. Yes, this is paradise. Bye, yeah. That's February on Australian Network. Today we're continuing with our series looking at students who've been studying in Australia. Today we meet Maida from the Philippines. We'll listen to what she likes about studying overseas and what she really misses about home. Hi, um, I'm Maida from the Philippines and I'm studying the Masters of Gastronomy in University of Adelaide with Le Cordon Bleu because it would expose you to a whole wide range of opportunities and it would expose you to um, different cultures, different cuisines, and I'm studying uh, gastronomy, so it's crucial for me to know more about Western cuisines as well as um, Asian cuisines, and Australia provides a good opportunity for that, especially South Australia, where you get a lot of um, wine regions and you get exposed to different um, fine restaurants in the city. It's pretty interesting because I didn't know a single person in Adelaide when I arrived a couple of months ago, and um, 
it was just discovering the whole city, but it was immediately getting fascinated with the market, getting fascinated with North Terrace where I lived and um, soaking up the museums and soaking up the different restaurants all around. And immediately within the first weekend, I was already um, going around the wineries and checking out the wine region and going to Barossa and checking out the hills. Maida is from the Philippines.